start to get centered. You know, what I mean by becoming centered, you know, if you've ever really wanted to work on this, is to, is to always find an opportunity to feel your breath move in and out of your nose and into the belly. So while everybody's still checking in, there's going to be a, a bunch of people still coming in. Take this moment to close down the eyes and to sit up or maybe even lay down. And we have been specifically working on a thing called belly breathing. Um, and if we could take it even further into three part breathing where the, bell, where the breath starts at the belly and moves through the chest and then eventually comes out of the lungs, out of the nose. So if you'd like to touch your belly, take a big breath in and feel the belly go outward. And on the exhale, feel the belly come in. And just keep repeating that. Inhale, feel the belly go out. Then exhale, feel the belly go in. <clears throat> and as you start to keep repeating over and over, start to see if you can connect the connection of your nose and the belly moving at the same time. It's a very powerful thing to do, this connection that happens all day and night long. But the minute you start to recognize it, your pattern of breathing really starts to change and you start to look at breathing in a different way. So keep doing it. Big breath in and a big, big breath out. And then we'll take three more, everybody, on your own. And then I'm going to start to count for you to try to build up a rhythm. And when I build up this rhythm, I want you to take your time on your count, not on my count. So let's all take an exhale. And then we'll start to inhale for one, two, three. And then exhale, four, three two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Last one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms up. One, two, three, four. Exhale to the right. Five, four, three two, one. Inhale, arms up. One, two, three, four. Exhale to the left. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms up. One, two, three, four. Exhale to the right. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale to the left, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms up, one, two, three, four. To the right, five, four, three, two, one. Last side, inhale, one, two, three, four four to the left 
five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, arms up, one, two, three, four, forward fold, five, four, three, two, one. Let's all roll over on our hands and knees. And we'll start to get into child's pose and we'll start to warm up the wrist still. Again, opening and closing hands, maybe opening knees to get belly between them. Sometimes it's nice to lift the top of your foot up and try to spread your toes down and to feel your ankles down, to feel the top of your foot on the mat. And sometimes it's nice to see if your elbows are bent and try to reach the arms a little longer and flatter. And we'll take two big breaths before we roll up into cat. And as you know, the, this whole week we've been putting a lot of emphasis on our hands and working on flat hands. So take a big inhale in and on the exhale, roll up to cat. And we're gonna stay here for a little bit. Press into the hands so you notice that you feel every knuckle, including the thumbs. See if the hands are directly under your shoulders, see if the knees are directly under your hips. A lot of times people think they're under their hips, but they're under their belly. See if you can bring them back a little further. Now bring your chin into your chest, and I want you to round your shoulders as high as you could, all the way up. Remember this feeling, because when we do push-ups, this is gonna be the top end range of the motion. Drop the belly, come into cow, and now notice that your arms didn't bend whatsoever, but your chest moves up and down. This is another thing I want you to recognize when we do push-ups. And then drop your chest between your thumbs, keep your arms against the body, and then come forward into cobra, but don't look forward, look at the ground. Bring the hands under the elbows, press into the tops of the feet so the knees come off the mat, and really try to feel your lumbar. Like if you've ever gone surfing, paddle paddling as your chest is up and you're constantly keeping your arms next to your body. Let's exhale back into child, and then get as low as you can, and then roll up into cat, press every knuckle down, round those shoulder blades, pull the belly in, then inhale into cow, drop the belly, lift the chin, then drop the chest between the thumbs, and then slide forward cobra, look down at the ground and notice if you're coming up a little bit higher. And then take this into sphinx. Let's bring the elbows under the shoulders and let's lift the chest and let's try to slide the body forward so we can feel the chest lifting up. We keep the elbows underneath your shoulders. Recognize the difference between chest and shoulders. Keep the elbow underneath your shoulder so you have this beautiful arch of your back. Let's bring the hands back under the elbows, then press back into child's pose, get low as possible, then roll right up into cats, then inhale into the cow, then drop chest between thumbs, and then slide forward into cobra. And then pull the shoulders back into child. And now just keep moving. Let's go like two or maybe even four, depending on how fast you move. Remember to go back into child's on an exhale, roll up to cat on the exhale, drop into the cow on an inhale, drop chest down during an exhale, come cobra on an inhale, exhale is into child's low, roll up into cat. And as you're going through this motion, maybe close your eyes. Maybe recognize that the hands do move, but the hands are solid to the ground. And then every time you're moving your spine, think of it in three parts. Think of it as the neck, right? The cervical, think of it as the thoracic, the shoulders, and then the lumbar, right? At the lower belly and back. And when everyone finds your cow, drop your chest down between your thumbs one more time, and then take it into sphinx for one more time. Let's see if you can feel a difference. If you can feel a difference, then what you're gonna to try to do is bring the elbows out a little bit more in front of you, and then see if you could pull your chest up a little higher so the sensation of your lower back starts to go from the lumbar, then all the way towards the thoracic, so your spine's curving up even higher. And then push your hands back under your elbows, press back into child, roll up into cat. When you find the cow, come right into down dog. We've always encouraged everybody to do a bent knee down dog. If you're new to this, come up onto your tippy toes so all you can feel is your ball mounds and your toes. And then look through your upper thighs and try to press your thighs close to your belly. But also try to keep your ass lifting as high as possible. So it's kind of weird because you're, you're on your tippy toes, your thighs and belly are close, your hips are really high, and you have this beautiful straight line from your hips all the way down to your wrists, and you're still looking through your legs. But if you look left and right, 
you most likely should be able to look under your arms. Your fingers are spread out, your elbows are turning in, your index fingers are straight or a little bit turning left and right. And now looking through your legs, leading with your neck, roll forward into plank, and then drop knees, chest, chin, and then come forward into cobra, maybe fingertips this time, maybe look over right shoulder and then left shoulder, maybe look up and down. And then when you're ready, press back into the child's, roll up into the cat and cow, and we'll meet in down dog. And then this down dog, we're gonna straighten the legs out. We'll pedal the legs out. We'll open and close the hands if we need to. We'll go forward into a push up, back to down dog if we need to. We'll lift up a leg and turn over to one side of the room if we need to. Sometimes it's nice to open the feet a little wider, then turn the heels towards the right. So the left foot turns inward and the right foot turns on the knife edge. And then you go over to the other side. And the knife edge, if you ever hear that terminology, it is the small pinky toe edge of your foot. It's that long edge of your foot. And when everyone's ready, hold your down dog. Let the head get heavy. Maybe let your head bounce a little bit. Take a big inhale in. And then take a big, big exhale out. And let's do two breaths through the mouth now. Everybody, big inhale in. And then big exhale out of the mouth, letting the neck and head be heavy. One more time, big breath in. And then big breath out. And then let's walk our feet to our hands. And when we get out there, we'll take a long back and press into the thighs, the shins, whatever you can, and then fold. And always keep this awareness of belly and thighs being really close. Do it again. Lengthen and then fold. If you like the way this feels, keep repeating it. If you like you want to chill and stay still, do that. But press into the ball mounds of your feet. Keep this constant lift of your hips but also keep the constant connection of belly next to thighs as best as you can. And then before we come up, this is going to be a test through the entire time, every time we fold. See if your palms can go flat on the ground, right? They can go in front of your feet, outside your feet, but see if they can go on the ground and what does it take to touch the ground flat? And don't lie to yourself. Make sure that you're getting all the way next to your wrist. Get the whole fat part of your hand all the way down to the ground and then recognize if the knees are opening. Can you bring your nose closer to your shins? I'm gonna ask you to do this a shitload of times this morning. When everyone's ready, let's start to roll up nice and slow. And when you arrive to the top, take a big lean back on the exhale. And then inhale tall. Let's grab onto the right wrist and over to the left side. Nice, everybody. Inhale, lift up, and exhale over to the other side. We have to learn to stop saying walk because most of you people are outside. Inhale, lift up. Let's lean back one more time on the exhale. Inhale, lift up, grab on to the right side, over to the left side. Inhale, lift up, grab on to the left, and over to the other side. Inhale, lift, let's pull the prayer in the heart and let's take this moment to set an intention. And remember, no matter how fast I speak, if you're new to me, if you haven't noticed, I talk pretty quickly. But don't try to keep up with my voice. Listen to the patterns that we're building and just try to stay in the flow and the flow is your breath connecting with the body. Sweep the arms up on the inhale and then forward fold, exhale. Flat palms, everybody, flat palms. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Step the right leg back. For some of you, you'll have to adjust your hands under your shoulders. Look up and let's go right into down dog. And then hold the down dog, look through your legs. Roll forward into plank and then lower down knees. Chest, hips are over knees. Slide forward into cobra. Imagine a little hole right in front of you. And then exhale into child. Keep rolling up into cat. Inhale, cow. Feel those palms. Down dog. Like literally like grabbing onto the ground. I want to develop strong, strong hands. Right leg comes up, everybody. Reach it behind you at a tree, a wall, whatever. And then point those toes strongly. Exhale, bring the knee to your nose. And then step it through. Look up. Left foot meets right. Long back on the inhale. Then fold, exhale, flat hands. Flat hands. One more time, flat hands. Rise up on the inhale. And then reach back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall. Exhale and forward fold. Flat hands, flat hands. 
Left leg goes back on the inhale. Rock it back and forth, everybody. Right to down dog on the exhale, hold. So for everybody again, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with him this morning? Why does he keep saying flat hands? You're gonna see the difference. And every time we do crow, every time we jump back, every time you go into an extended angle, every time you put your hands on the ground, you're gonna be like, well, flat hand, not let me roll on the wrist. It's gonna make a huge, huge difference. Roll forward into plank, lower down knees, chest, chin, press into those hands. Inhale into cobra. Exhale into child. Keep rolling up into the cat. Inhaling into the cow. Exhaling into down dog. And when you arrive there, remember, just like our hands, we're reaching our feet. Left leg comes up on the inhale. Reach through those toes. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it through. Look up. Right foot meets left. Long back on the inhale. Forward fold on the exhale. Inhale, let's come rising on up. And then reach back on the exhale. Inhale, nice and tall. Grab onto the right wrist over to the left wall. Inhale, nice and tall, grab onto the left wrist and over to the other side. Inhale, nice and tall, forward fold, exhale. Flat hands, bend the knees, keep the knees together, bend the knees, flat hands. Right leg steps back, inhale, rock it back and forth. Flat hands the entire time unless you're straightening front leg out. And when you're ready, right into down dog on the exhale, everybody. Hold that down dog. Press into the hand stronger. Look through the legs. Roll forward into plank. Lower down like an elevator. Press into the hands, press into the feet. Hit the ground, lift up cobra or up dog. Take your time here. Look over the shoulders. Recognize if you can feel your feet on the ground. Exhale into child's last time on the side. Roll up into cat. Inhale into cow. Exhale into down dog. Nice, spread through those fingers, guys, spread through those fingers. Right leg comes up on the inhale. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, stay right there. Look back at left foot, you'll be on the big ball mound and the long toe, MJ gave me the name of that one. Inhale, lift all the way up, reach through those toes. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, round the back, be on the big toe and the long toe. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, flat hands, step through flat hands, look up, left foot meets right. Long back on the in, fold on the exhale, flat hands, flat hands, come on, flat hands. There you go, Erica, that was a difference right there. Roll up on the inhale, reach back on the exhale, all the way back, keep going. Inhale, nice and tall, exhale and forward fold. Left flat hands, oh, I almost missed this one. Left leg goes back, inhale. Rock it, rock it, right to down dog, exhale, hold the down dog. You feel the hands, right? You feel the hands. I can feel the hands from here. Roll forward into plank, and then lower down like an elevator. Press into your hands, press into your feet. Inhale into cobra. Last time, everybody, exhale through child. Rolling up into cat, inhaling into cow, exhaling into down dog. Hold the down dog, get the arms straight up. Press into those hands, press into the feet. <clears throat> Left leg comes up on the inhale. Point through those toes, reach through those hands. Exhale, knee to nose, round the back. Look at your big back right toe. Inhale, lift up, point through those toes. Exhale, knee to nose, be over your hands, those flat hands. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, knee to nose, flat hands. Look forward, step through, flat hands. Woo! Right foot meets left. Long back on the in, forward fold on the exhale, flat hands, flat hands, flat hands. Inhale, rise all the way up, reach back on the exhale. Nice, everybody. Inhale, tall, grab onto your right elbow and pull over to the left side. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Inhale, lift, grab onto the other elbow, and I'll meet you towards the other side. Inhale, lift up, interlace hands at lower back, squeeze the knuckles down your ass. So as you know, we do a lot of push-ups in our, in our practice. 
Um, and a lot of times people just try to use momentum. I want to try to encourage everybody to have, instead of high repetitions, quality repetitions. Everybody start the forward fold, take a big inhale, and then forward fold on the exhale. The same rule accounts for this. Belly on thighs, feet are strong, try to get your nose below your knees. So bend your knees as much as possible if your belly and thighs literally squish together, that's perfect. But keep your ass lifting. And then let's release our hands to the ground. Let's step that right leg back. And when the right leg goes back, everybody work it out and then come right into your plank. And now pause. And this is gonna be difficult for some of you because for some reason, some of you just have this weird body head connection. Round your shoulder blades, cat your back, cat your back, cat. Keep looking forward. There you go. Irene, you got it. You got it right, girl. Cut your back. Now, ready? Now, keeping your arms straight, drop your chest. So your scalpula is just drop. Keep your arms straight. Keep your arms straight. Just drop your chest. Keep your arms straight. Janine, keep your fucking arms straight. Arms straight. And now, round your back. Cut your back. And now, drop your chest. Cut your back. And now, drop your chest. Cut your back. Drop your chest. All right, see? Try not to move anything beside your shoulders. Try not to move anything beside your shoulders. Do it one more time. Drop your shoulder, drop your chest. Cat your back. Nice, one more time. Drop, cat. All right, lower down knees, chest, chin. And just come into cobra for a second. Nice, and just hold your cobra. See if your hands are back and nice and strong. So listen up guys, this is what we're doing. It's called scalpula push-ups. If you're, if you're really saying like, what the fuck is he talking about? Just Google it, you can't miss it. Bring your hands back under your elbows, press straight up into plank, and then cat your back at the very top. At the very top of the range, cat your back. Nice, you feel how you went a little bit higher? That's the difference that we're going to do. Everybody lower down halfway, and then press up. When you hit the top, cat your back, cat. And then lower down halfway, and then come up, cat your back at the top. Nice, keep going, lower down halfway. And at the bottom, at the top, cat your back. Cat it, nice, one more time. And then next time everybody you lower down, go into up dog and stay in up dog. Look up at the ceiling, pull through. Yeah, Lindsay, solid hands, girl. Keep looking, everybody. And when you're ready, down dog on the exhale. All right, again, it's going to be difficult because this is something new that we're working on is building scapula strength. But it's very important, especially for my people that kick up a lot. Everybody, right leg comes up on the inhale and then bend into the knee over the body. So look under your left armpit. Try to keep that right armpit flat. Try to keep those hands spread out nice and long. And then let's exhale over to the right elbow. Stop here. Are your palms flat? Are your arms straight? Over to the left side, bolt, same thing accounts for. Inhale, lift up one more time, bend into it a little bit further. Nice. This is a good question for yourself, right? When we say elbows to knee, do you actually touch the knee or you bring it next to it? Exhale over to the right elbow. Over to the left elbow. And then inhale, lift up, straight up. Exhale, knee to your nose, flat hand, step through, wide legged fold to the left wall. Do whatever you gotta do to get your hands flat. You gotta bend your knees, do what you gotta do. You gotta walk your hands out three feet away from your body, do that. You gotta turn your hands around, reach for right side, then do that. Try to look at your feet, make sure they're all pointing to the left side. Edges of your feet line up with the edges of your mat. Nice, everybody turn to the front of the mat and come into your squat. And when you get to your squat, keep your feet so wide that your palms can go flat underneath you. And as your palms are flat on the ground, including the heel part of your hands, start to straighten your legs out and look underneath your legs. Press into the hands, keep your hands flat. Imagine you're gonna do a um, a handstand right here, and then come back down into your squat. Keep your hands flat the entire time for the next three times. Straighten your legs out, look through your legs, press into the hands, turn the elbows in. Come back down into your squat. And now straighten the legs out, look behind you through your legs, press into the hands, feel your hips lift. Sit down, squat. One more time, press into those hands, look underneath your legs, keep pressing into those hands, keep pressing into those hands. Sit down in your squat, hands come to prayer, move side to side, start to look up at the sky or the ceiling, and then stand up tall, inhale, and then come down, exhale. And now let's wrap it out. Let's go about 10. But as you guys are going up and down, I wanna talk about a few things. Hopefully I can encourage you to move a little differently. Make sure that you're pressing through your heels. 
make sure that your gaze is up towards the ceiling so you have your shoulders back over your hips and make sure your hips and shoulders are moving together not hips first then head recognize if you're coming in two different parts like lowering down most people will lower their knees down then their chest down see if you can keep going and when everyone's ready let's stand up tall let's bring the feet together Let's roll the shoulders back, arms alongside the body in mountain pose, which ears line up with ankles and stand tall, squeeze your muscles. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Flat hands, including the palms, flat hands. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Struggle, everybody struggle. Left leg goes back, inhale, get that stride open. Right leg goes back, get the hands under the shoulders, cat your back, round your shoulders, cat it. Drop your chest, don't, don't bend the arms. Don't bend the arms. Don't bend the arms, drop the chest. Cat the back, drop the chest. Cat the back, drop the chest. Cat the back, come to a neutral. Take a big inhale, lower down, push up. Press up and cat your back at the top. So it's two motions. When you lower down, push up. When you come up, arms fully extended, then there's a little bit more extension of the shoulder blades and then they reach and then you drop it again and you come up and down. And every time you're going down, how are my hands pressing? How are my legs pressing? And then when you're ready, move into up dog. I see people doing these weird push-ups. Like the men, they do these little half wussy fucking push-ups because they think they could do a lot. The women just struggle and they're like, shit, my wrist. And they do all these things to avoid it. Let's really fucking focus on our body. And I would rather see everybody, hold you down dog. I would rather see everybody that really is struggling doing push-ups to do one quality one instead of fucking three worm ones. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna do the worm, just do one quality one. Left leg comes up on the inhale, everyone. Bend into the knee, over to the right side of the world. Keep reaching, keep reaching. Look under that armpit. Exhale out to the left tricep. Make sure you're touching it. Over to the right tricep, hold. Are your palms flat? Inhale, lift all the way up, bend into it one more time. Feel that stretch that we feel when we're standing up. Remember, we're touching elbows, we're connecting with the body. Exhale out to the left elbow, hold it there. Straight arms, over to the right elbow, straight arms. Inhale, lift all the way back up and up, 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 up. Exhale, knee to nose, step through, wide-legged fold, right wall, last time over here. Long back on the in, fold on the exhale. Maybe you do a down dog. Maybe you turn your hands out left and right. Maybe you turn them around. Maybe you reach for your feet. Whatever makes sense. Let's all turn to the front of the mat and let's step into our squats. Keep your hands on the ground. Remember, flat palms. Flat palms right under your shoulders. You know I'm going to ask you to straighten your legs out four times. Try to get that ass to lift. Everybody straighten the legs out. Keep your palms flat like you're doing a handstand. Press as hard as possible into the hands. Come back down into squats. Move side to side. Stand up and look at the, do the legs. Lift those hips, press into those hands. Imagine I just lifted your hips and put you right into a handstand. Come back down into squats. And again, for my people that are struggling with your hands on the ground, keep struggling. Everybody straighten your legs out, look through your legs. Press into those hands. Woo! One more time, come down into that squat. And then straighten those legs, press, press. Right, and think about this, as you're pressing into the hands, cat your shoulders. Right, round that back so you find full extension. Come back down into squats. Hands come to prayer, look up at the ceiling, and then everybody stand up tall on the inhale, come down on the exhale, and keep going. Keep going, and just as a, a friendly reminder, well, this is not a friendly reminder, this is like almost like an announcement, we're not sure yet, but we're thinking about having a handstand workshop on Saturday, I mean, on Friday night at uh, 7.30, 8 o'clock or some shit. Jane and I still working out the details. I still have to say yes to it. I don't know if I did say yes to it yet, but I'm, I'm thinking about it. I didn't say yes, thank God. All right, I didn't say yes, yes. I deliver tacos that time and I like to drink beer and I fuck up and I don't want to drink beer and teach at the same time, if you know what I'm saying. Everybody, two more times, keep going. Look how cute you are outside, Ann. Keep going, girl, nice. <laughs> Everybody, let's come down into a squat. Guess what we're gonna do with our hands? We're gonna place them fucking flat on the ground. Everybody look forward, jump back, wrap it out. Come on, I'm gonna go through all my boxes. Let me see that cat at the top of the push-up. Aaron, cat the top, there it is, now lower down. All the way up, cat the top, there you go, dog. You feel the difference, right, homie? Yeah, you do, yeah, you do, keep going, nice. And when everybody's done, find that up, dog. 
and then we'll find the down dog. Nice work, everybody. Nice work. Let's warm up. Let's break a little sweat here. I'm going to ask you to jump outside your hands a total of three times. The first one's going to be squats. If you want to add stuff like lift your right knee up and touch elbows or maybe kick hands, I encourage all that type of movement. Bend into your knees. Take a big inhale. Jump outside your hands. And when you get there, come up on the inhale. Maybe tap elbows to knee. Come down. Maybe come up and then kick hands. Come down. Maybe cross right elbow over to left knee, then come down. Maybe grab top of right foot, then come down. A lot of things that we've been doing just to really also add balance, coordination, work out the core, and especially the core that we all think we're working out, like the obliques, right? The transverse, try to get really crunching in there when every time you come up and when everybody's ready, meet me back down in squats. And then listen up, when we jump back, we're gonna alternate our hands, sliding right hand back, then come back and sliding left hand back. Everybody jump back, lower down once, then press up, right hand slides back, lower down, push up. And then bring the hand back, lower left hand back, lower down, push up, and just keep going. And again, what the ultimate goal here is, is to do a push up a little bit different than we normally would do them, right? So we can then hit the muscles at a whole different aspect and the body can feel something different and then it can start to regenerate and start to work together. And that's what we're trying to achieve. When everyone's ready, press back down dog. So again, to get the message through, every time we do something that we do a lot of, a lot of repetitive action, like squatting, like jumping, let's try to add something so there's constant guessing in the body so the neurons in our body can connect together and they can become best friends. Bend into your knees, take a big inhale, jump outside your hands. And when you come outside your hands, hands come to prayer. Listen up. When we come up, we're going to jump. Fingertips are going to swing back like you're bringing water up your hands. Toes are going to point down and you land in the squat and we're going to do 10. Take a big inhale. Everybody stand up and jump. Oof. And then come back down the squat. And then stand up and jump. Keep going. Come back down the squat. Stand up and jump. Keep coming down the squat. Keep going, everybody. We should have about six more and leave the ground. Don't be one of these fucking people that just lift up their heels. Leave the ground like maybe an inch or so, right? Maybe like a half an inch, but leave the fucking ground. Everybody come up and then come down. Nice. One more time, everybody. And when you're ready, everybody, put your hands on the ground and then everyone jump back and then do one push up and wait for me. Hold here. Hold here. Nice. Let's come into the diamond, everybody. Let's come into the diamond. You know what I heard about the diamond? Danny Love, get on your mom's back while she does diamonds. Jump on the back row. There you go. Everybody lower down, diamond, press it up. Jane's doing diamonds with the fucking, with the baby on the back. Not a baby, a, a, a young girl. Lift it up, press it up. So don't be a wussy and drop your fucking knees. Come on, Allison. Just do one good quality, one homegirl. You got this. And when you're ready, let's press back down, dog. Hold. Nice, everybody. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Listen up, guys. When I ask you to jump outside your hands, let's really jack up this heart right now. When you jump outside your hands, you're going to jump once. You're going to come back down the squat. You're going to jump back, lower down, push up, bend your knees, jump outside your hands, jump. Everybody take a big inhale. Jump outside your hands. Hands come to prayer. Leap up. Jump up. Boom. Come back down. Jump back. One push up. Press up. Press back down dog. Jump outside your hands. Boom. Get up there. Jump all to the top. Come back down. Keep going, everybody. Let's try to get to 10. Every time you get back, a powerful push-up, not this weird-ass light one. Every time you jump outside your hands, lift up. Every time you jump outside your hands, recognize that your palms flat. We should have about five more, guys. Keep going. Reach as high as you can jump. Point the toes down. Let's go two more times, everybody. Keep going. Nice. One more time, everybody. One more time, unless you got lots of fucking energy right now. And then when you're ready, everybody, meet me in down doggies. Meet me in the down dogs. Nice. Let's just take a one minute break to bring the heart rate down. Roll forward into plank. Left elbow down, right elbow down. Pause here. Nice. And what I mean by break, and everyone kind of laughs when I do this, and low your ass, I can't see the trees behind me. Nice. Thank you. All right. What I mean by break is that if you understand dark, you lower your ass too, you're outside. Nice. There you go. If you use every part of your body, if you're pressing through your feet as strongly as possible, if you're squeezing your thighs together, like if there's like a piece of paper between your thighs, if you're pulling your elbows back and pressing into flat hands and having your neck long, 
and then squeezing the glutes, right? Squeezing every part, then it will be a resting pose because you're working together. A lot of people just sit here and struggle mentally and they're using their mind to suspend their body. If your lower back is hurting, you're not squeezing strong enough, everybody. Keep pressing. Open your hands, Aaron. Palms go in front of shoulders. Your shoulders on the hips. There you go, doggies. Nice. Right hand touches left elbow. Roll over to the right side. Right palm will press down. Left hand will lift up. And then think about what's touching the ground. Your right hand, your right forearm, your right elbow. And your right ankle and your right um, knife edge of your foot. Unless you're doing some staggering thingy, right? But try to really stack this. And now try to lift your hips so high. Imagine me crawling underneath your body. Look up at that left hand. Nice. And if you're a little like total like hyper fucking squirrel right now, if you want to bring elbows to knees and shit like that, if you need to do stuff like that, you know what I mean? Then just do all of that shit. But the people that are mentally struggling right now saying, fuck, how long are we going to be here and all that stuff? Block that shit out, man. Go back to the breathing. Inhale. Exhale. Nice, everybody. Two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Cross your forearms and I'll meet you on the other side. So line up your left body with the whole left edge of your mat. Press into that left ankle. Pull all 10 toenails towards you. Keep the left palm facing right side. Keep that left elbow underneath left shoulder. Reach right hand up. Maybe look up at right hand. And if you are a hyper little squirrel this morning, lift up your right leg, reach your right elbow to your right knee. But don't just do like a little jazzercise type of dammies, right? Try to touch your elbow and knee and hold it there for a second, like if there's a piece of paper in between it. And then when you have this connection touching, then you think, okay, what am I using? Am I still lifting up out of my left side of my body? Hold everybody. We have five more breaths. Keep lifting, don't lay down everybody. It's hard for me to see everybody. When we do this in class, it's a lot, it's easy for me to check the whole room. Keep lifting. Nice, everybody, two more breaths. Big inhale in, big exhale out. One more breath. Right elbow down, left hand down, right hand down. Everybody rep it out and do three to five push-ups. Up and down, come on, shake it out. You can do this, shake it out, keep going. Two more, one more, nice. Everybody press back down dog. Nice work, everybody. Hold. Big inhale in. Big exhale out. Two more breaths here. Big inhale in. Are your hands spread out? All right. So now we're going to move into Surya Namaskar. And I really want all of the emphasis to be on these hands. Bend into the knees, everybody. Take a big inhale. And then jump to the front. And then long back inhale. Fold. Exhale. If your feet are wide, bring them together. If your feet are together, notice that you land this way. Everybody flat hands. And now start to work your hands just outside of your pinky toes, a little bit in front of your toes. Try to get these palms flat. And this is going to use, when we jump back, this is where your hands are going to be. Rise up on the inhale, and then reach back on the exhale. And then come to high prayer and then pull the prayer down the center of your face and bring the prayer into your heart and close down the eyes for a second. So for a lot of you guys that are not used to doing this, it's going to be scary, but if you could do a push up, you can do this. I'm gonna ask you to pretty much fall towards your face to really get this floating action in sun A. Sweep your arms up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale, look up flat back, right? So just look forward. And then lay belly on thighs and then put palms flat a little bit wider than shoulders, right next to your small toes. Lift up your heels, look forward, and then everybody drop down, chaturanga. Drop down, chaturanga, fall forward. Lower to the ground, stay on the ground, stay on the ground, stay on the ground. Everybody look left and right, where are your hands? If they're not under your elbows, if they're under your shoulders, you didn't drop forward, you drop back, right? Make sure they're under your elbows, press up the plank. Press back down dog. Nice, we're gonna do five this morning because there's like close to 50 people practicing with us and it's impossible to catch everybody. Especially you people block your screens out. I hope you're practicing naked. Bend into your knees, everybody. Take a big inhale, jump to the front. Long back on the inhale, check your feet, are your palms flat? Check your feet, are your palms flat? Rise up on the inhale, 
reach back on the exhale. Pull that prayer on the heart, recognize the feet. Are you standing tall? Don't just stand there, stand tall, squeeze the bottom. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold, exhale. Look up, inhale, flat hands. Everybody jump back, land, check your elbows on the next to your body or your hands and elbows together. Move into up dog, press into the toenails, the ankles, stay in up dog. See if you can get your ears further away from your shoulders. See if you can lift up by pressing into the hands, right under the shoulders, pressing into your toenails, squeeze all of your muscles. Exhale, down dog, everybody. Nice work, everybody. Big breath in, big breath out. Straight arms. When I ask you to jump to the front, I want you to put the brakes on in your hands, but let that ass fly straight up in the air. Bend into your knees and your inhale, and then jump to the front, press into the hands. Long back inhale. Fold flat hands on the exhale. Even though the hands are flat, you still feel your hips lifting up? Yeah, you do. Rise up on the inhale, everybody, and let's reach back on the exhale. Pull the prayer in, arms alongside the body. Sweep the arms up on the inhale, forward fold on the exhale. Look up, flat hands. Jump back, bend the elbows, land with elbows bent. Come on. Just fall forward, dog. There you go. Inhale up, dog. Yeah. Exhale, down, dog. Nice work, everybody. Talking about progress right now. Straight arms. Straight arms. Straight arms. We have one more to go. Bend into the knees on your inhale. Jump to the front. Press into the hands. Long back. Nice, Irene. Nice flat hands. Forward fold. Exhale. Inhale. Come rising up. Reach back on the exhale. Pull that prayer in, arms alongside the body. Nice, everybody. This is the last one. If you guys have been like, holy fuck, I don't know what he's talking about, just try to let all of the weight fall in your hands. And everybody, reach your hands out forward in front of your shoulders like you're going to do a push-up. And then bring your elbows against your body and keep your elbows bent at a 90 degree. You see how your wrists and elbows are aligned and your arms are against your body? This is how you want to land. So in a, go back to a push-up position. And notice your hands are under your shoulders. But when you jump back, you're technically jumping forward. So now bring the elbows against the body. And now look, you can't do this unless you fall forward. That's what I'm talking about, falling forward. Sweep the arms up on the inhale. Forward fold, exhale. Look up, flat hands. Jump back, elbows against body. Yes. Inhale up, dog. Nice, Chrissy. Good adjustment, girl. Good adjustment, man. It took fucking a, a two years for you to bend the elbows. We're fucking finally doing it. Everybody down dog, everyone. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg comes up on the inhale, everybody. Let's exhale over to the right elbow, over to the left elbow, and then let's inhale the leg up and let's bend into the knee. Look under left armpit and try to keep that right armpit. I'm going to ask you to break the triangle and flip your dog. Maybe you grab your right foot. Everybody exhale to the right elbow, over to the left, break your triangle. So if you want to, as the right leg goes out, right? And again, you can move, don't, don't be afraid to move. You could come back up again and you could take left hand and grab big right toe and find that alternate side plank variation of breaking triangle here. You could shoot the right leg out, you can grab the back of your left head, back of your left hand can grab the back of your head. All right, everybody, we're going to move the side plank on the left and eventually flip your dog. Maybe you grab your big right toe. Left hand goes down, and maybe when the right leg peels through, you stop. You grab your big right toe, turn to side plank on the left side, reach right leg up, and then maybe it drops behind you. And then from there, maybe you put your butt on the ground and lift up, and then put your butt on the ground and lift up. Keep going. You know how much I love doing those variations we do at the front of the mat. Keep going, everybody. Let's try not to use our right hand. Right leg will come up. Step the right leg to the front of the mat and move into your lizard, everybody. Come down, rock it out, get nice and low. Do the lizard dance, keep going, keep going. We'll take two big breaths, everybody, and then we're gonna come up into a crescent lunge, but I want everyone to focus on this. See if the left knee can move further back. See if the top of the left foot is strong to the earth. See if that right knee and right foot have alignment going on. And now when you're ready, walk your hands on the ground towards your hips. 
then bring your hands on your hips. And then notice if your torso is leaning forward. If it's leaning forward, maybe shorten your stands a little bit. And then when you're ready, arms will rise up. And when the arms rise up, I want everyone to look up at the ceiling or sky, three feet in front of you, but reach your fingertips to the back of the room. Keep pulling that right foot back, keep pushing that left thigh forward. Try to get through the psoads, right? Through your quadriceps. Keep feeling the small left toenail on the back mat, which is straight. And now let's reach our hands forward. Maybe shoulders stay over hips. Pull that left hand back like you're pulling a bow and arrow. And then tilt it back and then stay there. Maybe left foot turns to right wall. And then everybody find the dragon. Right hand goes down, left hand goes up. But the right palm is flat. Not some weird fucking shit. The right palm is flat. Left hand is lifting up. Nice. I remember when we first incorporated this, I don't know, fucking eight months ago. Who just, I'm just guessing how many months ago it was. But everybody was a bunch of hot messes. Some people, no. But a lot of people were like, wow, we never do this. This is fucking really difficult. If you look at now, it's like, it's easy for everybody now. Everybody bring the left arm close to the body, pressing into the feet. Sweep the arms up, back to crescent. Remember, you're looking up and forward. Hands are reaching back. Right leg is pulling back. Left leg is pulling forward. Reach the hands forward. Open up baby waterfall. So right hand will tilt back. Left hand will reach back. Right knee will continue to go forward if you would like to. Maybe straighten right leg out and walk left hand down that ankle and try to touch your back heel. Nice. Take a big inhale, everybody. And then find your sunfish on the exhale. Tuck those toes. Reach that right arm up and just rock it back and forth. Me, I like to pulse my arm towards the left side. I like to make some circles, right? Again, moving and finding ranges of motion. What's that left hand doing? Is it flat? Is it strong? Reach the hand forward. Olay it. Roll on left ankle. Stay here. Roll on left ankle. Roll on shin. Keep left arm straight. Feel it in the ribs. Feel it in your left armpit. And now swing it around, everybody, and move through Scandies. Keep moving. And again, the motto is quality repetitions, not just muscling it. And quality repetitions is when you're dancing with your mind, your breath, and your body. And they're all working in sync. And you're fully aware of everything. And you're letting go of that terminology that you need to do hundreds of something. If you just did them correctly in, in your ability and then start to switch them up a little bit here and there, then things start to change. Let's all turn to the front of the mat. And let's find our sunfish. And from our sunfish, three-legged down dog. Right leg will come up. Look at left foot, everyone. Lift left heel up. And then drop right leg of five to 10 inches. And then kick right leg up, move left foot to the middle of the mat. And then kick up five times. Look at your hands and kick up five times. And land on the left ball mound. Kick up and land on the left ball mound. Keep going. Kick up again. Land on the left ball mound. Kick up again. There you go, MJ. You're getting calmer and calmer, girl. You change your gaze, homegirl. You change your gaze. Everybody listen up. Your gaze does not go anywhere else besides your fingers. When everybody's ready, come back to down dog. Nice work. Look at you, Lindsay. Hold your down dog. Nice, everybody. Left leg comes up on that inhale, fam. Bend into that knee. Exhale to the left elbow. We're touching elbows today. Over to the right elbow. Inhale, lift one more time. Remember, we're gonna break our triangle. Exhale over to the left, over to the right, break the triangle. Maybe right hand grabs left toe. Think about that left hand that's on the earth right now. How strong is that hand right now? Right, if you feel the index fingers, are you straightening the arm? Are you turning the elbow inward? So you feel the, the eye of the arm where the arm creases and bends. Remember to take your time. Find the quality of your right hand when you turn to the right side of your body. Right hand will go down, left thigh will peel up into the chest, convert to the right, taking your time, and eventually maybe grabbing left foot will meet as flipping the doggies. And when the doggies get onto the other side, drop the ass on the ground, lift on up. Drop the ass on the ground, lift up and try to see behind you. Come on, dog, look over your fucking head. Look fucking through your freaking French molding there and shit. Come on, baby. Lift that shit all the way up. Everybody, when you're done, Left leg comes up, try not to use it, step it through, lizard. Put the left elbow down inside. Yes. Nice, everybody. 
big inhale. Let's get low. Let's feel that quad. Ooh wee. Mm -mm -mm. Big inhale. Big exhale. Yeah, Christy. <laughs> Maybe you walk your hands forward, Christy. Maybe you walk your hands out to the right side. Ooh, that feels good, right? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Keep reaching. All right, everybody. I am going to meet you in your crescent lunge. And why I say that is because we're going to build up into it. We're going to place our hands and we're going to support our body with our hands. And when we feel everything squared, hip squared, shoulder squared, back right ankle flat down, arms will rise up. And then we'll treat the spine like we have in three parts. The thoracic will lift, the spine of lumbar will lift forward, and then the thoracic will lift forward. And then the cervical will lift slightly back further and up towards the ceiling. Hands will reach back all the way back. Fingers will reach back. And then reach those hands forward, pull that right arm back, pressing into the feet, Tilt it back. We're only going to do once this morning. Tilt. Keep the left knee where it is. Dragonfish. Work on getting left palm flat. Left elbow into the knee. Right arm opens. Feel it across the chest. Feel it across the belly. Maybe turn right foot towards left wall. Nice, everyone. Keep looking up. Left palm flat. Let's bring right arm across the body. Let's lift up into crescent. Feel the top of the right ankle. Then let's reach the hands forward, pull the left arm back, shoulders remain over hips, feet moving in two different directions. Everybody find their sunfish, right hand lines up with left, reach left arm up to the ceiling, and then maybe make some circles. Maybe pulse back of left hand towards right, but understand right hand is lined up with left foot, right ball mound is strong, right knee is really strong. Let's reach that left hand forward. When we lay it like I'm running along the left side of you, turn and just roll on that right ankle and look to the back and feel that big arch along your ribs into your armpit. And then swing it around everybody and move it to Skandanasana. Nice, and again, usually in the studios, we can encourage people with different movements, but a lot of people have made up a lot of great movements here. Some people do a down dog when they bend into one knee. Some people look for the bind over the shin. Some people like to cross their arms, we call it the ninja, and then we open up. I think in Kung Fu or in Tai Chi, it's like it's called like sneak in the grass when you bring the arm close in through the inner leg and then you come back up. Nice. So one of the things that I'm hopefully going to be encouraged to be doing is I really want to teach myself some Tai Chi, uh, some Kung Fu stuff as well, because I've been making shit up and I've been fucking blazing. And once you have a few beers in you, you think you're a fucking Bruce Lee and stuff. Everybody turn to the front of the mat and then find sunfish. Right hand will go down, left hand will go up. All right, everybody, three-legged down dog, everybody stop. All right, so now the left leg is up. Look at your right heel, right heel lifts. Drop the left leg about 10 inches, kick it up. Right foot will reach for the middle of your mat. And then look at your hands and then kick up. When I mean by looking at your hands, find something that you could stare at between your hands and then focus on that. Focus on that. Focus on this little spot that you found that becomes yours. And every time you kick, can you feel your toes that are reaching to the ceiling? Connect with those toes. Nice. Yeah, Ryan, the gaze is going out, but you're landing like a champion, homie. You're landing like a champion. And when you're done, everybody, hold your down dog. Right, you and Janine just did the same thing. And you're right next to each other, too. Inhale. Exhale. Hold your down dog, everybody. Big breath in. Big breath out. All right, before we step up and come standing up, let's go into lizard one more time and let's fly our lizard. Yeah, Danielle, super strong, this homegirl. Right leg comes up, everybody. Step the right leg, right foot outside your right hand. This is when these flat palms are beyond necessary. Don't fuck around here. Take a big inhale, everybody, and then switch your feet. Left foot outside, left hand, right foot steps back. All right. Let's get like 10 or 15 out. Everybody ready? Switch, switch, keep going. And as you guys are keep going, try to land for a hot second and then switch, but keep the palms flat, keep the palms flat. Press through those fucking things, press through those things, keep those arms straight. Try to land that foot outside, keep going. We'll go 10, nine, keep going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Land with the right foot outside the right hand. 
drop the left knee, reach the right arm up, grab the top of the left foot, and just turn that into a fucking rap song right there. Reach all the way, grab onto the foot. MJ, put your right foot outside your right hand, drop your left knee, and then reach up and grab the top of your back foot. Right hand reaches up, grab the top of your back left foot. Thank you, love. Good job. Maybe bring your left elbow down too. You too, Lindsay. Bring your left elbow down. Nice. Woo. Yeah, you did. One more breath here, guys. Take this into a sunfish. Take this into the sunfish. Hold. Nice. Everybody find your seated twist. Bring that knee behind the ankle and come on down. Look at you, Kim. It's like the laboratory down there, girl. When you get back in the studio, you're going to be fucking getting into people, girl. You know it. I know it. I'm watching you. I'm watching you. I see what you're doing. Loving it, girl. Loving it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Loving it. Bum, bum, bum. Hold on, everybody. We're going to find wide-legged fold. Listen up. When we find wide-legged fold, what's the most important thing we do? Flat fucking hands. That's the most important thing we do. Turn to the other side of the mat. Flat hands, get out of the pool, right leg forward, left leg back. That's it, right leg forward, left leg back. Nice work, everybody. Turn to the back of the mat, come into your lizard on your left side. Turn to the back, lizard on the left side. There you go, come all the way down. Stay up, stay up, don't come down. Keep those right toes tucked. Christy, take your toes up, take your knee off the mat. Nice, everybody flat hands. Take a big inhale, switch your legs. Switch, switch, keep going, switch. Flat hands, keep going. Keep going, switch. Keep going, come on, Brendan, you can get them outside your hands, keep going. We'll go 10, keep going, nine, eight, keep going. What number was I? Eight, seven, six, keep going. Five, flat palms, straight arms. Three, two, land with the left foot outside the left hand. Drop the right knee, take the left arm, reach it all the way up. And when you reach up, let's reach back and grab onto that sucker. Ooh, it's back there, Brendan. It's back there, Holmes. Oh, you're right there. God damn. I wish I was fucking there to fucking push you. Come on, motherfucker. Do it again. There it is, Brandon. It's right there. Come on. Walk your right hand back a little further. Do it again, motherfucker. One more time, homie. Nice. Oh, there it is. Awesome, everybody. Come back into your sunfish and then move into your seated twist. Move into your seated twist, slide it underneath. Beautiful work, everyone. Big breath in, big breath out. So we really wanna make sure that everybody is learning how to float. And again, you never, ever, ever have to even do a handstand. What this accomplishes, it's a very strong core movement, and it also builds a lot of balls, a lot of yoga balls. If you never heard of a yoga ball, a yoga ball is something that you grow over practice. Even if you weren't born with yoga balls, you grow them with practice. And everybody should have yoga balls. It's like the biggest fucking thing to have. It's like the coolest thing to have in 2020, more than fucking toilet paper. When everyone's ready, turn to the other side of the mat and find wide-legged fold. Boom, to the front. Open up, nice and wide. Yes, everybody, good work. Hold, turn to the front of the mat, find your lizard. Hold your lizard. Let's get into this little rhythm here. Let's just do five. Ready? Hands on the ground. Switch your feet. Come on, Christy. You fucking got open hips ready. Keep going. One, two, three, four. Land with the right foot. There it is, everybody. Sit down, see the twist. Go from sunfish, slide the knee behind the ankle, sit down, see the twist. Pull it in, over the other shoulder, look to the back of the room. Nice, everybody. Hold. Two more breaths. Listen up, guys, it's gonna be a pattern. I'm gonna ask you to do it one more time. We're gonna turn to the other side, wide legged fold, turn to the back, fly our lizard. Get ready. Turn to the other side of the mat, wide legged fold. Boom. Turn to the back of the mat, lizard to the back. Don't stop moving. Once you get lizard to the back of the mat, everybody jump. Go. Five, go. I should do six. Six, five, four, three, two. Left foot down, outside hand, sunfish. Sit down, see the twist. Bring it in behind the knee. Bring the knee behind the ankle. Awesome work, everybody, awesome work. Hold here. Big inhales, big exhales. Nice. I'm gonna ask you to do one more time. 
And then we're going to bring in the sea monkey and we're going to take the sea monkey into some handstand work from Sunfish. Let's have a good time with our bodies this morning. It's nice outside. A lot of us are going to be outside doing some weird shit. All right, everybody turn around, pop up, wide legged fold, turn to the front of the mat when you're ready, come into your lizard, jump it six times. Go, three on both sides. Go, action, flat hands, flat arms, straight arms, flat hands, flat hands. And when you're done, everybody land in your sunfish. Left hand down, right hand up, right knee is bent. Sit down, see the twist. That's the last time on this side. And when you're ready, once the twist is established, think about flat hands and getting out of a pool. And you don't want your shorts or your fucking bottoms to fall off. Turn to the other side and then push out of the pool, wide legged fold, then turn to the back. Last time, lizard to the back, set your palms up under your shoulders. I Instagram will be right back in 15 seconds. When everyone's ready, jump it six times. Go, go, jump it six times. One, two, three, four, five. Then come down into a, into a sunfish, then into a seated twist. And that's where we'll meet in the seated twist. Pull it in. Let's get that heart rate to come down. Nice, everybody. And when you're ready, hold. And now everybody turn to round, come out of the pool. Awesome work, everybody. Hold here. Big inhale in, big exhale out. Turn to the front of the mat, take it into a sunfish, three-legged down dog, and then kick up. Kick up a few times. Kick up exactly five times. One, two. Listen up, guys. And next time you kick up, try to bring your right foot right between your hands. So kick up and bring your right foot between your hands. See if your right foot can get between your hands. And now turn to the back of the mat. Take sunfish to the back. Your right foot is forward. Look at you, Brandon, standing up. Turn to the back of the mat, sunfish to the back. Yeah, doggies. Hold, three-legged down dog. There it is. Left leg will come up now. And now kick up, kicking left side, the opposite side. If you switch your feet, don't do that shit. Don't be switching your feet. Don't be favoring one side of your body. And when you're done, everybody, hold. Nice, everyone. Awesome. And now everybody, left foot is to the back of the mat, and you come into your sunfish. And then everybody turn to the side of your mat and come to a wide-legged fold. So right foot is to the front of your mat, left leg is to the back of your mat, and you're in a wide-legged fold. Hold your fold. Nice, everyone. So listen up. We're gonna stand at the back corner of our mat. So take your right foot, step it back towards your left, and come into the back corner of your mat. We're gonna go around the mat this morning because everybody has so much room. But remember, palms are flat, you take this time of letting your body go past your hands. Let's reach our hands to the other side of the mat and then sea monkey to the front of the mat and let the left leg, the right leg go first and then the left leg follows and then turn around and then go to the back of the mat. Maybe take a moment to kick up a few times in the middle. Maybe find some handstand work, straight arms. And we're only gonna do this once guys. We're only gonna do this once. Just keep going, keep going. And we'll go around one more time, maybe the other way, maybe a lot of left hand forward first instead of always favoring the powerful side of your body. And then guys, meet me in your down dog of love. And when you find the down dog of loveness here, lift the right leg up and let's come into pigeon on the right side. Bring the knee behind the wrist, bring the ankle towards the other wrist if you can, slide the left leg back and then slide the hands forward. Beautiful work, everybody. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Nice. Who's breathing big right now? Start walking the hands up and let's swing the leg forward 
So left leg goes forward, bottom of right foot goes inside, left thigh. And when you're ready, everybody, meet me in John Yu. So we're gonna forward fold over the straight left leg. Arms will lift, fold over the straight left leg. If you would like to, instead of grabbing your foot this morning, try this guys. Try putting your palms flat on the ground, one inside your ankle, one outside your ankle. And then reach your arms far forward as you could, lift your chest up and try to lay your chest on top of your thigh. Reach your nose towards your, your toes that are pulling back and keep your palms flat. Notice the difference, right? Again, I really do hope that if I could just spark some creativity and to say, maybe my hand doesn't have to go under my shoulder, maybe it can go outside a little bit so you can feel something different. Each thing we do will look for a different experience. Nice. I've been having a dance party three or four days a week at one o'clock in the afternoon. My friend's DJing and I've been creating some new dance steps. I had a dance step for the majority of my life called the Coco Don't Sweat and the Coco Back Step. And these two dances have been the fucking staple in my dance moves. But now I've been adding some new motherfucking moves and I'm ready to fucking flow, boy. Can't wait for our fucking party. Hold everybody. When you're ready, everybody, let's find our stargazer. And we'll take our stargazer into our gate pose. And if you're confused in what we're doing, Please tune into our YouTube channel where we have our lovely Janine banging this shit out like a fucking, like a ballerina loveness. Open on up, everybody. And then we'll meet there. And then when everyone's ready, cartwheel your hands to the back of the mat. Find your plank. Take your time. Lower down the way that you like. Inhale, we'll lift up the way that you like. Cobra, maybe some up dog loveness. And then exhale, we'll meet in down dog. And when we find the down dog, left leg will come up and then we'll go pigeon. Last side, everybody. Pigeon to the left, slide the right leg back and find that nice whole left hip opener here. Feel the right preformis down. The stuff should feel really easy for you guys right now. Try to keep that right thigh down. What I like to incorporate everybody to do is keep pressing into the right knee and the right ankle and keep working that leg back so you feel your left hip open up more. If you have a lot of weight in the elbows, try to let the arms reach forward, let the head relax, maybe put one palm down, then put the palm on top of those knuckles and drop the forehead down. And then when everyone's ready, let's all start to walk the hands up towards your hips. We'll swing that right leg forward and then put the bottom of the thigh inside. Arms will lift and then we'll find Janyu. And again, as the right leg is forward, we can come encouraging guys to do something entirely different than you normally would do. Maybe instead of grabbing the foot, hands will go flat. But pull back that tiny small toe. Feel the sit bones in the ground, turn your sit bones into feet. Get ready to find your stargazer into gate pose and then cartwheel to the front and then we're on the ground coming to a close. When everyone's ready, stargazer into your gate pose. When you get there, when you get to gate, make sure your left foot is forward. You feel that arm reaching up and over. You feel your hips reaching to the back of the room, to the front of the room, I'm sorry. And then cartwheel your hands to the ground, step up into your plankness, and then lower down the way that you prefer. And then I'll meet you in child's pose after your back bend, which is a cobra or an up dog. And after you find your child's, roll up into your cats. Inhale into the cow. Drop your hips to one side, extend the legs forward. And then once the legs go forward, slide the hands under the knees, roll onto your backs. Keep your knees open so your thighs are encasing your belly. 
and then keep the right knee in, let the left leg extend, keep the right knee over your hip, not over your belly button, but over your hip. Put the left hand on right kneecap, cross the right knee to the left side, reach right hand out to the right side. Try to have palm down, try to look towards the right, try to pull right shoulder back, put weight in that left hand, and try to use your exhales to go a little bit deeper. And now let's draw the right knee into the chest. Let's let the left leg follow. Let's extend the right leg forward. Let's put the right hand on the left knee over your pockets, your hips. Reach your left arm out and then breathe it out here. Reach out, lengthening. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more breath, everyone. Let's bring both knees in, last pose. Happy baby, if you got it in you. Bring the knees into the armpits, put the elbows into the knees, reach the hands across your ankles, grab onto your feet and pull it down. Maybe today we grab the big toes. Maybe today we go behind the ankles. Maybe today we take both hands and grab one foot and pull it down a little stronger. Nice, we'll take three breaths and then we'll let go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Everybody, when you tab ready, let the legs open to the front of the mat. Let the arms open, let the neck flatten, close the eyes. Start to breathe real big, feel the expansion of your ribs. We'll take one big beautiful breath together. Big inhale in, exhale out of the mouth, and let's let go, Shavasana. So I'll take this moment to start increasing our breathing and then reaching our arms up overhead and then reaching them back like you're waking up out of bed, then pulling the knees into the chest on an exhale and then rolling to the side of the body and using the lower arm as a pillow, which makes sense to you, left or right, it doesn't matter. Pull the knees in. We'll take a really big, big inhale in and then exhale it up. And then we'll press into the free hand. We'll keep our eyes closed and we'll roll up, cross our ankles and we'll find Sukhasana. Otherwise known as crisscross applesauce, easy seated pose. Once everybody's nice and tall, we'll share three breaths and we'll take a big ohm on the third one. Take a big inhale in the nose. And then a big exhale out of the mouth. Big inhale in. Big exhale out.
deep breath in, everybody. We'll bring our hands to prayer. The light within me, I'm as the light to all of you. Namaste, everyone. Yeah, everybody. Namaste, Coco. Yeah, namaste to you. Thank you. Big love to you guys. Coco. Up. Loving your playlists on Spotify. Hit me up. I'll send them to you. Got them. Yeah, we got them. Follow them. We'll try everything. Yeah, let's create some love. Yeah, Eric Dog. Nice. Only four minutes. Only four minutes of play, everybody. Before we go the distance. Everybody, thank you so much. Killing it, everybody. I will talk to you guys later. Have a beautiful day, man. Enjoy the weather. Thanks, Coco. Peace.